you please introduce yourself? Yes, I am uh, Tim Downing. I'm a recent PhD from the UC Berkeley UCSF Joint Graduate Program in Bioengineering. Um, and can you tell us about your research? Yeah, so my research looks at uh, cell reprogramming. So the idea that we can take a skin fibroblast from a patient or any person and reprogram this fibroblast back to a pluripotent state uh, where it behaves exactly like an embryonic stem cell. And so a lot of research has gone on to understand the mechanism of action of this process of cell reprogramming, but what researchers haven't really described yet is the, the effect that the biophysical microenvironment or the matrix rigidity or the substrate topography that the cell is on can affect this process of cell reprogramming. And so my research actually looks at for the first time how surface topography, in this case we have uh, micro groove surfaces fabricated from PDMS uh, polymer where we have cells that we can culture on a flat surface and then on micro grooves of different width and dimensions down to from 40 microns down to 10 microns and these different topographies have a dramatic effect on cell shape essentially but what effect does this have on cell reprogramming and so the, the for the first time we're showing that there's a, a fourfold increase in reprogramming efficiency that we see and actually we can go on to replace the effects of small molecule epigenetic modifiers like valproic acid which is a histone deacetylase inhibitor, and trenocypromine, which is a histone methyltransferase inhibitor. And so we have dramatic effect on the cell reprogramming through these mechanisms that are similar to what we see um, from epigenetics mo uh, modifying small molecules. So what stage is your research at now? So it's actually just recently being accepted um, for publication in Nature Materials, so hopefully it's in press now. We, we should see it soon. And you've been working with mice in this? So we've done some mice studies, so we isolated our fibroblasts from mice tissues, but also human cells as well. Um, and the effect is the same in mice and human. And then as this progresses, where, where could it possibly, if all goes well, where could it uh, translate into actual application? Absolutely, so cell reprogramming, uh, as many of us know, have, uh, has a tremendous impact on sort of uh, application in terms of helping patients, obviously in regenerative medicine, where we can take now cells from a patient that needs the, the therapy, we can reprogram these cells to a pluripotent state and differentiate them into whatever cell type the patient may need, or we can also differentiate them a cell type that can help us study or understand that patient's ailment or illness. And so the study really uh, allows us to understand the mechanism of action of how this pluripotency uh, is actually achieved, but beyond that we can understand how cells in a physiological context might be more readily transitionable or poised to transition um, inside the body as it experiences different topographies and matrix rigidities. Great. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so much. Yes.